this is a, a, a Toyota Prius that was converted to hydrogen by Quantum Technologies from South, Southern California. And the, this car was delivered to us with compressed hydrogen tanks that gave it a range of about 80 miles on a full charge. And the, after we got this car, um, we removed the compressed hydrogen tanks and installed our very own uh, cryogenic capable pressure vessel, which is um, a Lawrence Livermore technology that we have developed over the last 10 years. And, the, and now with our uh, pressure vessel, this, this car has a driving range of 650 miles, which is the, the longest that anybody has demonstrated for a hydrogen car. The different thing that, that, uh, do, that our tank does is that it can store hydrogen in either compressed hydrogen at ambient temperature or liquid hydrogen at, at cryogenic temperature. And the, this gives us a lot of flexibility and many advantages. If, if we store hydrogen as a compressed gas, then we can have a reasonable range for, uh, that may give us um, maybe 200 miles worth of range in this vehicle, enough for short terms or for commuting at a reduced cost, because we save ourselves the cost of liquefaction of the hydrogen, which is uh, going to be quite expensive. Now, however, for the uh, unusual occasions when we need to go for a long trip, then we're ready for it because for that one day we can fill the tank with compressed with liquid hydrogen and triple our range. So go from 200 miles to 600 miles just by filling the tank with liquid hydrogen. Here at Lawrence Livermore we have a filling station that includes capability both for compressed hydrogen and for liquid hydrogen. At this moment this is an operation for well-trained professionals. We require all the people who refill the car to be um, uh, pressure inspectors. And, uh, but in the future, this, this has to be engineered to make it very similar to today's uh, gasoline filling stations where you, anybody, any person just uh, grabs a hose and puts it in and it, it, uh, it finds the, the right uh, place for dispensing the fuel and it, it uh, seals all the, all the um, connections and pumps the fuel whenever it's ready to do that. So. Um, so this is, um, we haven't done the engineering of the, of the fueling station, but uh, this can be done and, and we don't see any problem doing that. Um, the engine was uh, retuned to run on hydrogen. And uh, it's, it, I think in, in every respect, it's pretty much comparable to a regular uh, gasoline car. We have uh, much equipment here inside. This is, uh, there's electronics controlling um, the, the requisition system and, and the, the different valves in the system. And then uh, we have safety devices, relief valves, and just connections to take the, the hydrogen from the tank all the way into the engine. We had to make uh, some slight modifications to the, to the vehicle here. This, for example, is a vent. So in case there was um, any hydrogen that leaked into the cabin, we could um, uh, the, the, this would safely leave the cabin through this through this vent, since hydrogen tends to to diffuse up because it's it's so light compared to the air molecules. And then these two are vents for the system. So um, if, um, for example, if we fill the tank with um, liquid hydrogen and and we parked it for a month or something. Um, the hydrogen would have to be vented eventually and, and it would vent through, through these ports here.